Howdy and welcome back to Berserker Shop. You is like a truck Today we're going to be talking about the importance of checking your brakes when they start to make noise. Because if you just let them continue on, you're going to end up with something like this. I'll bring you in a little closer here so you can examine it a little better. But you're gonna... This is what it's supposed to look like. We got the new rotor on here. Caliper. Brand new pads. Still got and then you have this. As you can see, all this is rounded off. This metal is worn down to the paint. That's all that's left, as you can see. Fully extended. The piston's what's stopping the car. Got a little bit of pad in there, I think. As you see, the slides are all the way slid out almost. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take these calipers off, replace them, put new rotors, pads, calipers, and hoses on this because this is completely fucked. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. First off, we're going to take our caliper off, which is 15 millimeter bolts right back here on the back, two of them. We're going to drop that off, get it out of the way. As you can see, I got my ratchet on one of the 15 mil bolts I got to take off. And there's your other one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break these loose. I guess it helps when you're trying to take things off if you make it lefty loosey righty tighty, huh? Much better. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull this right out of there. And set it to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and take off this up rotor as you can see. Look how thin that is. It was wearing the edge of this away. You're almost into the fins. Go ahead and slide your new rotor on. Like that. We have our new caliper here. We're going to go ahead and mount that on there. But first, I'm going to take these two 15 mil bolts out, separate them, mount the bracket, then the caliper itself right there. Then we're going to go ahead and hook the hoses up. Had to adjust the camera angle there to give you a better view and give myself some more room to work. So we go ahead and put our 15 mil bolts back in. We gotta line up our caliper bracket. Hold that on, that'll help give you a little more room to get these bolts in so they're not going all sideways to pulling the bracket out. Go ahead and snug these down and we can finish tightening them here in a little bit. But do not forget. Alright. Now we're going to put in our little doohickeys for our brake pads to sit in and slide on. Install them just like this. Slipped in right perfect and easy. I'll show you that here in a second. Now we got a little better view where those two 15s are. We got one here and one here. That's what holds your caliper bracket on. We have our slides in for our brake pads where they sit in there. You got your brake pads right here. That's your indicator. That's what's going to start scraping this and making noise. That's when you need to check your brakes. As you can see, it's going to hit the rotor before this pad is gone. If you let that keep grinding away, it'll grind this whole pad away. And then this backing, and either this backing will slip down in between the caliper bracket and make your car stop, you won't be able to go, or it'll just continue to wear away until it's not there and then you've seen what happened to that caliper. So we're going to go ahead and slap these new pads in. Now 
going to grab our new caliper. As you can see, it's got these weird slides. They slide in there and then mount in here and then hold in to there. So you got to line these up, get them in the holes in the rubber boots, and then they screw in right in here. And then we're going to have to bleed them after we get it all hooked up. Here's where your hose goes. There is a left and a right. These are marked. This is right. I can't guarantee they will always be, but your bleeder should be at the top. So that will tell you which is left and right. So we'll go ahead and take these out. Cleanly set them to the side so the grease doesn't get all nasty. Go ahead and work this on here. Make sure you squeeze your boots in. Go ahead and find one of your bolts. Make it find its way home by wiggling it a little bit. Same with the bottom. Try to get them started a few by hand. That way you make sure you're not cross-threading anything. And we'll go ahead and tighten these down as well. As you can hear it stop. All right, we're secure. We're almost done actually. So we're gonna have to go ahead and make sure we got all this tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all this is tight. Then we're gonna go ahead and jump in and change the hose on it. And then we're gonna have to bleed it and then we're done. Not that bad of a job, but definitely an important one. I'm gonna go back through, double check, make sure everything's good and tight. Now that we got everything tight to where it's really gonna get messy, now we have to disconnect the brake line and lose all this fluid. But first, we're gonna go ahead and figure out which line goes on this side. We'll go ahead and mount it to the caliper. Go ahead and remove the bracket, mount the new bracket, then we'll take the line loose. That way we won't be dripping for too awful long. So if you don't know, you're going to want to find out which hose goes where. So we're going to match it up here and see if it matches. This bracket matches perfectly. This hose wraps around, fits perfect. And it's going to go down to our caliper perfect. So we've got our right side right here. It matches up with this bracket. We're going to go ahead, put the banjo bolt in here off the new caliper, tighten this up, then we'll put this bracket on, and then we'll go ahead and disconnect it and get into the messy brake fluid. As you can see here, you got your banjo bolt, you got your two copper washers, you got the one on the outside, one on the inside, just like that. Now we're just going to attach this right here to the new caliper. Alright, that's a 10 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and tighten that down. I lied, not a 10 millimeter. It's an 11. Of course, manufacturers will differ. It could be a 10, it could be an 11, it could be a 12. Who the hell knows? Go ahead and get that tight. There went that old bracket off that caliper. It just fell right off her. You want to get these washers crushed down. That way they seal good. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, we got our new hose installed. We have our bracket right here this bolt right here. We're going to be taking that out, putting it right in, just like that. Just like the new one is going in just like the old one. So we'll have that curve. We'll show you doing that. 10 millimeter. Go ahead and loosen that.
reinstall your 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so we kind of hung the caliper out of the way. That way it's not in the way. We're gonna go ahead and take this loose right here. This clip is gonna pull out after we get this loose. That'll allow this line to pop out. We'll pop this new one back in and then tighten that line back up, put that clip to hold it in, and then we're done aside from bleeding. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. dropped our line um, amazingly no fluid I'm not gonna complain it's gonna make it a little harder to bleed but that's okay so now we need to get some pliers screwdriver whatever you can get to get that little clip out of there pry that clip out Get in here, pop this clip out. Just like that. As you can see, slides in just like that. These tabs that bend down, downwards. Holds that right in place. Now, that'll pop right out. Go ahead and take your old caliper, bracket, and hose, get it all out of the way. Now we gotta go ahead and fish this line back in. These have a flat side, a flat side, a flat side, a flat side, and then a long curve side. So you gotta find out where that long curve is. On the bracket right here, which it appears to be towards the back here. Then you twist it till you get it in place, just like that. The ring around there will hold it in. Take our old clip, or if you get new ones while you're holding that down, go ahead and let's start sliding this on. Just like that. Now that hose won't come out. Go ahead and put our old brake line back in there and start tightening the fitting. Perfect. Now we'll take our 14 mil wrench, go ahead and finish tightening this back. And then we're gonna crack the bleeder, let it do a little bit of a gravity bleed. We've already done the other side. There's no sense in showing you both sides because they're exactly the same. So everything you just saw me do, just do the same over there on the driver's side, except for with a driver caliper, not a passenger's. go that should be good yep and we're good to go now we're gonna go ahead and take this cap off this bleeder don't know how well you'll be able to see that but as you'll be able to see here just loosen that a little bit then we're gonna wait for a little bitty drip as soon as it starts dripping we'll close it off then we will go ahead and bleed the whole system you're going to want to make sure your brake fluid's topped off before you start bleeding. This has nothing in it. I'm not surprised. Go ahead and pour you some brake juices in here. If you need a funnel, you're a little bitch. See, I even looked at the camera and still didn't spill it. I may shake a little bit, but that's just the blood pressure. Still haven't missed. All right, we got her full. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a gravity bleed, then we're gonna do a power bleed. 
We got this handy dandy tool right here. Hook your air in right here. Flip it on and it'll start sucking. So what we're gonna do, we got this attachment. It's good for pulling out coolant or anything. But as you see that right there fits on the brake bleeder and that'll suck that fluid and air right through there. We're gonna go ahead and hook this up to the bleeder. Put a little air to it and get to sucking. This is really loud. So, as you can see, you're not going to be able to hear anything. Oh, we're already sucking. I don't know if you can see it, but it's already pulling it through the line here. We're going to go ahead and move the camera, set it up, and we're going to do all four corners of the brake system. Make sure we don't run out of fluid while we're up there. So every now and then we're going to have to go down, check the fluid level to make sure we don't suck too much out and put more air in it. We're going to go ahead and get all four of them bled, pump the pedal a little bit, check them out. They should be good to go and then we'll take us a test drive. But that's the last step of this job. After you got your calipers and rotors and everything done, once you got a good pedal after bleeding it enough, you're good to roll and you're safe again. Appreciate y'all stopping in and y'all have a great evening. Catch you on the next one.